Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. This is a photo that was sent to me by a viewer. And on your right, you have a garbage disposal. And this is the electrical hookup to this garbage disposal. It's not my intention to make fun of anyone or ridicule anyone for this kind of work. What I would like to do is make it safer and show people how to properly wire their garbage disposal and how to properly do electrical work safely. The first thing I'd like to do is point out the use of non-metallic cable, otherwise known as Romex, right where the arrow is. In my career as a licensed electrical contractor, I've seen Romex used many times in just this fashion. Let's go to the 2023 National Electrical Code to see what it says on this subject. We'll start with Article 334, Non-Metallic Sheath Cable, Types NM and NMC. The coating on NMC cable is non-conducting, flame-resistant, and moisture-resistant. This is Article 334.10 Uses Permitted. Type NM and Type NMC cables shall be permitted to be used in the following and let's skip down to number three, right where the arrow is. Cables shall be concealed within walls, floors, or ceilings that provide a thermal barrier of material that has at least a 15 minute finish rating as identified in listings of fire rated assemblies. And as a note, Recently, five brands of half-inch drywall were tested and they all tested above 15 minutes. So NM cable needs to be protected by a surface such as half-inch drywall or 5 8 drywall, something like that. And it can't just be hanging out in the open in a kitchen cabinet going to a garbage disposal. So now let's discuss this area right here. We have a ground wire which has exposed copper wire right here and it's very close to a uh, black hot wire back here which is dangerous here's your neutral and it has exposed uh, copper wire here there are no wire connectors these connections are not in a junction box and let's go to an NEC code that pretty well covers this whole situation this is article 110.12 mechanical execution of work and this has a change for 2023 which is in the shaded area electrical equipment shall be installed in a professional and skillful manner here's a clip from a video that i did recently from a house renovation and i will show how to properly do the electrical hookup for a garbage disposal it's easier to put this sink up on some sawhorses and uh, work on it that way. I had it flipped around when I, when I put on the garbage disposal and I, the sink strainer. I flipped it around this way to do the electrical. It's a lot easier. And there's two points I really, really want to make. And one is you have to use the right clamp connector. See, I have five different kinds of clamp connectors here. And two, you have to have the right polarity. I'm going to discuss that in just a minute. The situation is that some brands of garbage disposals, in particular the insincorator garbage disposals, do not come with a cord. You have to supply your own cord. Insincorator sells a cord and I just bought one. It was $14 at Home Depot, but you can also use the cord from the old garbage disposal that you're replacing. I did save the cord from the old garbage disposer, but when I really looked at it carefully, I felt it wasn't a big enough gauge, so I went ahead and bought the new cord. The new cord is 16 AWG, and all garbage disposer cords must have a ground wire in it. Here's the insincorator cord that comes in the insincorator power cord kit. I have put woggle lever nuts on the ends here, and I'm going to show you there's a polarity to this. This wire has a slight stripe to the insulation, and that's your neutral. This one's smooth, and so this one's your hot. So I'm going to take some white electrician's tape, and I'm going to put it on the neutral so we make sure that we hook up 
the neutral wire to the neutral and the hot to the hot. In this picture, you can see that the neutral has a slight texture or striping to it and the hot is smooth. And you can see in this picture that I have color coded the neutral wire with white electrician's tape. If you buy this cord, they give you one of these cable connectors. And that's the kind you need. So put it in the hole here and go counterclockwise. There. You hear that click? Okay, now you go clockwise. Okay, go all the way, good and tight. So that makes for a good connection to the garbage disposal. All right, so the next thing you want to do is you want to take off this little plate here. Okay, there's one screw, takes it off. Okay, so then you pull out the wires. You got the hot black wire and the white neutral wire. Okay, then we take our cord. So this has a nice curve to it, which is what you need. You want it to curve and come out here. It goes in here and it comes out here. Okay, so get these all together. And kind of use the, the curve. If you take uh, some needle nose, you can help grab it and pull it through. There. The first thing we're going to do is, is we're going to hook up this ground. There's a ground screw right here, and you just take that all the way off and screw it right into place here. Okay, our ground wire is hooked up. And then you take these stranded wires and twist them and make sure there's no stray strands any place. You don't want that. So we're going to hook up the neutrals first. You hook the neutral to the neutral and the black to the black. Otherwise, you wind up with the body of the garbage disposal being hot. And that's about the last thing you want. Okay, so neutral to neutral. We're going to, I'm going to take a woggle lever nut. You can use a, a wire nut if you like. And I'm going to put that right in there. And I'm going to put that right in there like that. Click it down. Okay, so that's our neutrals. Put it down into the little area here. All right, so now I'm going to hook up the hot wires. And we'll put, make sure there's no stray strands. Okay, we're going to put that right in there like that. Click it down. Put our wire from the disposal right in here. Click it down. Okay, then we we'll put that right down in here. Okay, then we'll put the plate back on. Put it right there. It takes one screw. Tighten it down very nicely. And now we're going to tighten down the cord. Okay, tighten it down nice and snug. There you go. You got a good job. Now, if you have some metal clad cable uh, like this uh, in older houses, a lot of times you will have metal clad cable and it's generally steel. This is aluminum, but it will suffice for a demonstration. You need a little different kind of cable clamp. Okay, it would go right in here like this. And then this goes on the metal, this clamps onto the metal clad. And you put a little, what they call a red head right in here. And, and <clears throat> tighten that down real well. And then tighten this real, down real well to the disposal because this metal clad area is oftentimes the ground in an old house. It's very important that this be clamped well to the metal cladding and that this be screwed in well to the metal of the disposal. Here's an example where the metal clad cable didn't quite get tightened down right. <laughs> Here's another type of cable connector. It uh, is very similar. This portion uh, clamps onto your metal cladding right here. Uh, that's, that's a real nice cable clamp. This is one right here that just pushes in and it just pushes in here. It's real quick, but I don't think it gives as good of a connection, as strong of a connection to the metal cladding, but it does have a nice uh, built-in redhead right there. 
This is a real nice type also. Uh, it's a, a right angle connector for metal clad cable. And so this would give you a good connection and this would connect on very well to the metal. But these are kind of hard to work with because you have to get your wires through that and then you got to get your wires through this. But it's, it's a good connection if you want to take the time to use that. My recommendation for cable clamps would be either this type or this type if you have metal clad cable coming from your wall like in an older house. So there you are. We're ready to go. I'll put a link in my video description for the insincorator cord which is 16 gauge and it comes with a connector and it's about $13 and I'll put a link for a two pack which is 14 gauge and you get two of them but there's no connector but it's nine dollars so I'll put uh, links for those in my video description thanks I hope this video was helpful